Welcome to Boom 50 Fitness. My name's Regan, and today we're gonna do chest flies. I'll show you how. Okay, let me show you the right way to do a chest fly. You're gonna want a step like I have, or a workout bench, because you're gonna want those elbows to get down nice and low. So we're gonna grab our weights. I'm using 10 pound weights. Now, keep in mind, if you have any shoulder issues, a fly might not be the right exercise for you. I am going to put a video up on how to do a chest press. That one might work better for you. So if you're up like this, you've got your arms extended, you want those elbows soft, like you're hugging a tree. And then what we're gonna do is keep the angle of the arms the same as we drop down nice and low, and then come back. Your core is really, really tight. If you have any low back issues, one thing you can do is lift your legs up, and that's gonna help keep your low back down onto the bench. Slow and steady. Just grip those weights tight enough so that you don't drop them, but not so tight that you're wasting energy on squeezing those weights and bring it up. So notice how low my elbows are getting below the bench. So you're gonna feel a big stretch through the chest as you do it. Now you're gonna inhale down, and then big exhale on the way up. Inhale down, exhale on the way up. Try to keep the shoulders away from the ears. Your belly is so, so tight, and your face is relaxed. Oh yeah, I feel that into the chest. Do not forget to breathe. Now, a lot of times people do chest flies like this. Do you see the difference? This is much easier. That's a great exercise if you have shoulder injuries, but if you can keep the angle of the arm the same throughout, just a soft elbow, that will be a perfect chest fly. I hope that was helpful. See you next time. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. See you next time. Mwah.